Welcome to the Zen Zone. We have for you an updated photo of the Abrams from Kuji. And indeed, he does have some pads on there. It looks like some yoga, po uh, some yoga blocks. And they don't look... I mean, from the side, they'd probably look awful. But from this photo, they look amazing. This, this UC looks amazing. The form factor, obviously, is a bit weird. And I think, we'll, I think most people are going to be able to get over that pretty easy. I just would like in the future to see a form factor on it this expensive of a UC that's like ergonomic or beneficial or aids in the UC writing in some way other than just be looking good. I mean, it looks good, but it has no actual like tactical use. Not going to benefit you in any way. The tire, on the other hand, this tire looks like one of the best UC tires that I've seen. It reminds me of the Shinko in a lot of ways, and I think it's going to be a phenomenal tire. However, the reason I'm making this video is I think it may disappoint some people. So I wanted to enlighten you perhaps on this EUC. If you have this EUC reserved, I'm going to talk about maybe three, four five. I'm not sure how many reasons why you shouldn't buy this EUC. All right. First off, comparing it to the Sherman or the commander or the monster pro or the EXN, I think it will lose in range. It's not going to have as much range as even the EXN because even though they have the same size batteries, both have 2700 water because it's a bigger wheel. And if E-Wheels, which I feel this is an overpromise, is saying this has more torque than the Sherman, then it's gonna eat through that battery really fast. How do I know this? Because I have what I think is the closest thing to the Abrams. I have the EX, which has the same size motor. It's a 3,500 watt motor. It may be, in fact, the same exact motor. I'm not sure where they're sourcing from, but it's a 3,500 watt motor and 2,700 watt battery. And the EX is geared to torque, whereas the EXN is more geared towards speed. That's not to say it doesn't have torque, but it's more geared to speed. It's able to go faster. The Abrams, they're saying it's going to be able to go faster than the EX. So it's going to have a higher top speed than the EX, which is about 41 miles an hour. If you're not using wheel speed correction, I'm not sure what it is. If you use wheel speed correction, maybe like 39, 40 miles an hour, that's when you get your beeps. However, on the EX, it scales back really fast. So I can go out and ride hard for maybe 10 miles, 10 miles of range before it scales back and I have to go under 30 miles an hour. And this doesn't have the top end speed of the Abrams. So that's why I think it may be disappointing for some people is you're going to go out and you're going to hit it hard and then it's going to scale back. And then it's going to be way worse than the Sherman's way worse than the EXN's because it's going to scale back really hard. It, it doesn't make sense to me if it doesn't. However, I'm, I would like to be surprised because I really want this EUC to succeed. I think it could be a real competitor on the track and that tire on that size tire it's not going to be that great for off-roading because it doesn't have suspension, but it will still be perfectly fine for many off-roading tracks. I'm excited for this EUC. I think it has a lot of potential. However, that's why we're talking. I just want to inform what I think the disappointments can be. Range was number one. So I really just don't feel like you're going to get that range. Number two, I don't really believe that it's going to have more torque than the Sherman. I want to be surprised. And if it does have more torque, that's going to cut into the range even more. I would like for that's fine with me this would be a racing wheel for me i'm not expecting it to have a lot of range i already have the x i know what i can expect on range and it's enough for me however if you're going out on group rides with shermans or monster pros you're going to get left behind after a few miles you may win in the first like 10 miles but after that when it cuts back you're going to scale back hard and those commanders those shermans are going to go flying by you and you're going to be restricted in speeds probably try to catch up cut out and <laughs> get hurt so that's those are two things. Uh, number three, the form factor we've talked about already. So those are the three reasons, I guess. It may not have the torque that's advertised. I feel like this could be a huge over promise. I would love to be wrong. Is it gonna be more torquey than the EX? Doubtful if it has a higher top speed. Could be, maybe Lieber Kim knows some fancy magic firmware that makes it better than the EX in every way, even though they have the same motor, same battery. I would like to see whatever firmware that is and then maybe even figure out if you could put that on the EX. That would be sweet because I don't necessarily need all the torque that the EX provides, although going up huge heels, no problem. Uh, and then it doesn't have suspension. So I guess that would be another reason you're not going to get suspension. But on a huge 22-inch wheel with a knobby tire, maybe you don't need it if you're not doing like some bumpy hard off-roading. Do we have a fifth reason that may disappoint? Uh, 
No, not really. Maybe the sh- when you're going to actually get it. I don't know when that would be. I'm willing to bet that's been overpromised, and I see all these uh, ships sitting off the coast of L.A. Uh, not able to come in. So there could be huge delays by the time you get this UC. All right, so five reasons. We got five reasons for you right there. The shipping time, the torque may not be what is promised. The range, you're not going to get that much range if it is as powerful as they are advertising. The form factor, also one. So consider those before you buy the EUC. If you want more range and you want more speed, you're going to have to go with the Commander. That's going to be the biggest upgrade in speed and range that's available and maybe even torque. So we'll see. I'll make a video on the Commander soon. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And until next time, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. And until next time, stay in the Zen Zone. Ooh.